Empty bottles, plastic baggies piled at the curb on 7th Road in East Meadow. Drugs, definitely. Um, probably heroin. The discarded containers, a sobering sight for parents. It's drugs and stuff like that, looks like. Yeah. yeah, I got two little kids too, so no good. These residents noticed them just outside at the corner of Stanley Road last week, but didn't know what they were looking at. We showed the images to Detective Lieutenant Richard LeBrun of the Nassau County Police Department. Yes, they could be illegal drugs or it could be legal drugs. Uh, obviously, somebody placed them there, maybe threw them out of their car. He says this paraphernalia was never reported, but parents' concerns are justified. Heroin, fentanyl, it is of epidemic proportions at this time. Um, you know, we're all parents, we're all concerned. It's not really in my consciousness. I mean, I read about it in the newspapers, but I don't come into contact with anything, as far as I know, or having to do with that, so it's not really part of my reality. Mm -hmm. And then now seeing this. Well, that makes it a little bit more my reality. For the Brusca family, this puts a far off threat in plain sight. I moved there two years ago. I've never seen any, yeah. anything around here. We have a lot of kids. We have kids across the street. We have kids next door. You know, we have that whole dead end right there is all kids, and that's what the sad part is. The block has been clean since our cameras were first here on Monday, but cleaning Nassau County of a growing drug problem, not as easy. We want to do our research. We want to rehabilitate. We want to educate. And again, we need to enforce the laws, and that's by arrest. But we know we can't arrest our way out of any type of epidemic. We need the other prongs. Nassau County Police advises anyone who believes there is drug paraphernalia in their neighborhood to call police immediately so they can investigate and clean up. From the Nassau County Police Department, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Last year, nearly 500 people died from opioid overdoses just on Long Island.